Hello my YouTube friends and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is Thursday the 2nd of February and if you didn't know I plan to hand in my thesis by the 24th of February. Fingers crossed. I really hope I'm not jinxing this whole situation by mentioning to everyone that I want to hand in my thesis by the 24th of February. But anyway, that is the plan. Today I am actually going into the lab. I've been working from home all week. We've had a very productive week actually. I think I have written about 6,000 words or something like that. Mainly finished my introduction. I haven't been working on my final chapter because that, that chapter, I'm just struggling. <laughs> I'm struggling big time with that chapter, but it's okay. We have time. And yeah, things are really, really coming along which is super duper exciting. But today we're going into the lab because I have some data that I need to collect which means that I need to prepare some samples for the mass spec and this could potentially be one of my final days in the lab so that's why I wanted to document it, I want to take you along. I'm going to try really really hard to vlog a lot today because I know sometimes as I get busy I forget to vlog and things become a little bit chaotic but I'm going to try my best. I'm going to take you along and we're going to remember this potentially final day in the lab at the Marine Bio Discovery Centre. It is nine o'clock and I am going to leave and we're going to go to the university. So inside, so I put them in the minus 80 degree freezer and now we're going to put them in the freeze dryer. Some of them aren't dissolving, which is really not what I need. So I took an aliquot into a new Eppendorf and I am speed vacuuming them in this vacuum centrifuge kind of contraption. And yeah, hopefully I'm not going to be here until 8 p.m. tonight because my samples aren't cooperating, but let's see how it goes. <laughs> some of the samples that I was freeze drying earlier. Out of my eight samples that I need to prepare for tomorrow, I have six of them prepared. So if these samples aren't ready, I'll need to prepare them tomorrow morning before the run. Uh, I am actually so tired from being in the lab. I am just not used to spending full days in the lab anymore. So it, I'm not gonna lie, it, it has exhausted me using my brain, doing calculations and not just writing and also physically exhausting from having to go from room to room and juggle multiple tasks also because I'm drying my sample on the road to that, I'm preparing these samples, I'm checking on things that are drying in different places and my brain is not cut out for this anymore. Some exciting news though, I did get the date for my Viva which is super exciting. Um, should I share it here? April, which is so exciting but also very scary. So that will be approximately a month and a half after I submit my thesis. I will already be well into my job by then. But yeah, it's just nice to know that I have a date in the diary for my Viva presentation and defense of my thesis. If you don't know, a Viva is basically where you give a presentation about your thesis and then you get asked questions for a couple of hours on everything in your thesis. In the UK, it's actually private. Uh, we don't do like a public defense. Um, like I think they do in the States. So it'll just be me and my two assessors, one internal assessor and then one external assessor from a different university. So just be the three of us in a room. I think it's going to be in person, which is nice also. And yeah, I will defend my thesis and hopefully I will become 
Dr. Jessica Gomez. Anyway, let's check on these samples and hopefully they're dry so I don't have to do more preparations tomorrow because I am tired. <laughs> so one of the samples I need is dry, so let's prepare this one. I'm not sure what's happening with the other sample in there. It doesn't seem to be drying very fast, which is annoying. Hello, 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 and happy Friday. I've decided to continue the vlog today because I don't think I really got much footage yesterday and it wasn't my last day in the lab because I'm going into the lab today. But it is one minute to nine and I have a meeting in one minute with my collaborators in France uh, to discuss a paper that we wrote and some data that I've been sent, which is the final piece of data for two chapters of my thesis, which is super exciting. So I'm going to log on to that meeting before I'm late and then I will see you guys in the lab. Hello, we are back in the microbiology lab, which you have not seen me here in a very long time. But basically this week we've been doing a bit of a lab cleanup. So my little corner with all of my stuff, I have been putting into one box uh, to keep it all together and been clearing out things that I've been hoarding for a very long time, you know, just in case. Uh, but it's been a good excuse really for me to throw things out and to tidy this space up so I don't need to do it later on. I prepared my samples for the LCMS and now I need to use the good computer to analyze some data because I think I mentioned before that my laptop just can't handle software anymore because there's too many things on it. So that's what I'm going to do and at some point I will have lunch but today is just so busy. Uh, I need some time to catch my breath I think. Hello and happy Saturday from a very dishevelled PhD student. I have been working this morning finalising one of my chapters, adding in the new data, discussing the data, that is done now. I was preparing some samples in the lab this week as you saw because basically we have some compounds from a compound library within our lab which have been sitting there for a while and it was just best to check that they are actually what they're supposed to be. And I checked the data and a few of the compounds look like they have degraded, which is so annoying. And in retrospect, I should have done this a long time ago, but here we are <laughs> finally deciding, actually, no, we don't necessarily trust the old data. And yeah, it means that I'm going to have to change a few things in my chapter, which is not optimal at this time in my PhD. But there's also another run on Monday, which is a different mode of the LCMS. And hopefully I will see the peaks there. But if not, then yeah have to change plans. So this is important. If you get compounds from a compound library, please check that they are what they're supposed to be before you do anything with them. Learn from my mistakes, please. Anyway, I am going to check something in my chapter just to see how much actually this has affected my chapter. And then I'm going to go and continue doing thesis work. I want to get this other chapter corrected before Monday so I can send them both to my supervisor on Monday. But yeah, I'm tired. As you can see, I'm on my last legs. 20 days to go. Okay, so I just checked and they don't seem to be super important compounds in the study anyway. They're not very active, but there's one compound, the final one, which is quite important, which will be re ready later on this evening. So at eight o'clock, I'm going to call my colleague. So we will need to wait for that data. Sorry, I'm opening the door because I'm leaving. And fingers crossed that that one is what we think it is.